A triple header with John Starr, Big Steve-O, and Ethan. Get him, Ethan. Get him, Big John. Get him, Steve-O. Jimmy's on. Triple header, baby. Glad you're good at sport. Bring him up. Keep bringing him. Where's he at? Coast Guard or Charter Boat Cruise Could be the kid down at the filling station Saying, buddy, have you heard the news? Hey, buddy, have you heard the news? King Michael and the Blues are running Everybody's lucky October and the moon is coming But the clouds won't give up the ghost Oh, let the good weather hold One more day Here on the Outer Banks, winds are currently from the northeast at 10 to 15 knots Coast Guard has lifted yesterday's small craft warning from Cape Henry to Cape Fear Seas are running one to two feet above normal though So stay tuned to the weather channel Howdy folks, Captain Chris Medley coming to you from East Coast Sports here on beautiful Topsail Island. Man, this week the temperatures have dropped a little bit. We've gone from the hundreds to the eighties. Uh, we're starting to see a lot of bait fish moving down the beach. We're seeing yellow butterflies flying around and everybody knows that those yellow butterflies signal the coming of the fall fishing season. I certainly hope that's the case. First off, I want to send a thanks out to Captain John Cruz of Pelagic Hunter Sport Fishing, Captain Chad Davis of Lucky Dog Guide Service, Captain Alan Jernigan of Breadman Ventures, Captain Damian James uh, for all the videos uh, you're going to see throughout this, uh, this fishing report. Um, let's start off in the backwaters. We're going to start with Captain Alan Kane of Sight Fish NC with this beautiful collage uh, of some reds that they caught in the grass. We've got this gentleman with a beautiful redfish. Now we're going to uh, Captain Alan Jernig at Breadman Ventures, and we got three guys with a with a, some great mess of gig flounder. We got this couple with some nice reds. We got this little boy with some big flounders. We got this gentleman with a large topwater caught speck. We got this gentleman with a nice red. We got this fellow with a nice red. Now we're going to Captain Chad Davis of Lucky Dog Guide Service, and here we got Emily with a beautiful red drum. We got this father and son team with a beautiful redfish. We got this little fella here with a big red. We got this gentleman with a nice flounder. We got this fella with a nice flounder. And we get this young man with another nice flounder. We're going to go on to uh, Captain Chadwick. Uh, we got three guys with some nice redfish. We got this boy with a nice red drum. We got this group with a nice red. We're going to Captain Damian James, and uh, here we got a mess of gig flounder with a sheep's head. Got this gentleman with a nice red drum. We're going to Captain Daniel Jarvis uh, of Flatfoot Fishing, and here's a beautiful collage of some reds and a skate that they caught on a trip. We're going to Captain Jason Dale of Silver Spoon Guide Service, and we got this gentleman with a nice red drum. We got Jason with a nice red drum. We got Jason with a nice flounder. And we're going to move on to Captain Lee Parsons, the, the veteran fisherman of the area. And here we got this lovely lady with a nice red drum. We got this gentleman with a nice red drum. Move on to Captain Wayne Crisco, last resort guide service. And we got this boy with a nice red. We got this gentleman with a big flounder, which Wayne's kind of known for. We got this gentleman with another big red. He caught like a 10 pound red, I think, just a couple of weeks ago. That was a beautiful fish. Um, now let's go on to the piers and we're going to Jolly Roger Pier. We got this uh, this fellow with some with a nice flounder. Uh, here's Jolly Roger Pier. Here we got Kobayashi with a nice red drum and a black drum. And believe it or not, we got this guy with a miniature sailfish that he caught in a cast net off of the pier. It was released to swim another day. Hopefully we'll be able to catch that guy again when he's about 80 pounds. But that's a beautiful shot. Who ever knew that those fish came in that close? That's pretty amazing. 
Um, we're going to go on to Sea View Pier, and here we have Aiden with a nice Spanish mackerel. We got Doug with some nice specks. We got Jeremy with a beautiful Spanish mackerel. Here we got Randy with a big old Jack Cravel that was released. Thank you, Randy. I appreciate that, buddy. Now let's go on to Surf City Pier, and here we got Bree with a nice Spanish. We got Gene with three Spanish. And here we got Tim with a 22-inch speckled trout. Hey, guys, these uh, scripts have been getting pretty long. I'm going to break it right here. We're going to have a little video, and then we'll come back in just a minute. So thanks a lot, and stick around. I don't always catch fish, but when I do, it's red drum. Stay hungry, my friend. <laughs> Howdy folks, and we're back. Let's start off in the surf, and here we got Davin with a beautiful surf caught redfish. Here we got Derek with a nice red. Here we got Derek's wife Jennifer with a beautiful red drum. Now let's go offshore. We'll start with Captain Mark Harrison of the Bad Habit. And here we got this girl with a big old AJ. Got this gentleman with a nice mahi. Got this fellow with a good eating gag. Check out this huge king that uh, Mark got the other day. And Mark's son Zane with his very first Spanish mackerel. I got to say that's a bigger Spanish than the first one I ever caught. Now let's go on to Hooked Up uh, with Captain Ike. And uh, uh, Captain Ike was nice enough to take a lot of the veteran fishermen, uh, a lot of the inshore guys and stuff like that, out. Um, and here we got Captain Chad Davis with a beautiful mahi. We got Captain Joey Pagliotti. He doesn't really run charters anymore, but a veteran nonetheless with a beautiful mahi. Here we got Ray with a beautiful mahi. And here we got Captain Ike with a beautiful mahi. Let's go on to Justified Sport Fishing. We got these three gentlemen with some nice grouper. Uh, AJs and mahi. They had a good time, I'm sure. We got four guys with a load of mahi. Man, that's a lot of meat on the table. We got this group with a nice mixed bag. Now we're going to Captain Ernie of Necessity Charters, and here we have a family with a nice mixed bag. Got this lovely lady with a beautiful cobia. Uh, here's a half-day bottom fishing uh, trip, a group with a half-day bottom fishing. I mean, look at the fish that they got on a half-day. That's amazing. Um, uh, that's a beautiful catch for a half-day. Uh, we got this gentleman with a nice mahi. Uh, we got this couple with a Wahoo grouper and a mixed bag. Uh, definitely on the fish. Now we're going to Pelagic Hunter, Pelagic Hunter Sport Fish with Captain John Cruz. We got this boy with a beautiful cobia. And we got this group with some nice gags. We're going to Captain Tommy Berry. Uh, Captain Tommy decided to lay out this year and not really do any chartering, but he's been doing quite a bit of fun fishing. And uh, here's Tommy with his friend B.J. Blockman with a beautiful large king mackerel that they caught. Here's B.J. with a nice mahi. And here's Tommy with a nice grouper. Hey guys, if you're not ready for the fall fishing season, it's probably about time to get there. You need to get your stuff ready, get your lines done, get your tackle ready, get it all organized because the fishing is coming. Um, I want to say thank you. First off, of course, to AFCO for supplying me with all the clothes that I wear just about. Uh, I wouldn't wear them if they weren't great stuff, and I, I really do appreciate them sending me all that out. Uh, come on in and check out some of their stuff. Uh, we got some great sales going on this week. Uh, here you go. we got 35% off uh, a lot of the stuff, including the Buffs and the, uh, the Columbia, shirt, Columbia Performance Shirts, Pelagic Performance Shirts, Calcutta Performance Shirts for this weekend. So come on in and get some of that. Uh, Labor Day is getting geared up, so come on down to beautiful Topsail Island, guys. It has been beautiful. The weather has been so nice. We got a few tropical storms out there. Hopefully, they'll hold off. But thanks a lot for listening to my fishing report, and come on down and see us here at East Coast Sports. Wake up, we're moving out. Four wheel drive will take us where we're going, yeah. If it don't, we're missing out. You want to be there before dawn. But when the sun is finally set, mm. Uh, there. Hey buddy, have you heard the news? King Mackerel and the right, Blues are running all and along the road. Monster, but good fish. We got another one on the bobber here. Fishing. You can't get the fish away. away. Everybody's lucky. October and the moon is coming. The clouds won't give up the ghost. Oh, let's 
Corner to mouth. Let the good weather the go. Let the good weather 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 go.